But in your day, did you ever think you would see a kook at Waimea? No. Or like, pipeline. Pipeline yeah. for that matter. I know kooks, full kook. Like that guy, I don't know who he is. He clearly wasn't a, I mean, the fact that the Hawaiian water patrol or whoever called him out means that he wasn't like a, a guy who belonged, right? Clearly. And, but enough skill to take off and go straight, but you've got to have a lot more than that out there. You got to have sense of where people are. You, like, look at yourself, sir. You fully suck. Like you cannot, you, if, if you could turn your board, then maybe that's a step. Maybe then start, you know, going out and surfing some bigger waves here and there and work over to Waimea. But you cannot turn your surfboard. You cannot turn your surfboard. You do not belong out there. Uh, Hawaiian lifeguard Joey Cadiz has come out swinging after legendary big wave ocean surfer and ocean paddler Chris Owens was hospitalized following the collision. This is from Derek Riley on Beach Grit. Joey said, quote, no more of this BS. Anyone that doesn't belong in here is being sent in. He said, no more entitled individuals that buy a gun and think they can surf Waimea. People that can barely swim, dependent, they are dependent upon their flotation and uh, luck in by shoulder hopping. You all are done. I train for the worst possible situations and I'm ready for it, but not what I go out there uh, but this is not what I go out there for. Take a good moment to think about your abilities, training, preparation, and awareness before you paddle out. I mean, and that's what I guess I'll extend my critique of these guys not consuming media. They should be consuming like local North Shore people's Instagrams, right? Like Cadiz's warning should land directly on people who think, you know, he's right. I was saving up my money to buy a gun because I I surfed swamis at overhead and I thought I was ready for why I'm at, but upon further consideration, I'm going to train some more. What is appropriate? Like, you know, I know we're past the point in human evolution where a beat down on the beach would be appropriate, but you have to wonder if one guy ends up in the hospital and there's no repercussions for like, there's no way for him to seek retribution against the other guy. I mean, can he sue the other surfer? Maybe he can sue the other surfer. No. Maybe Chris Owens could sir, the, sue the offending surfer. But it's like, if you're going to, if that guy can get put in the hospital and there's no legal ramifications for what the kook did, it's very unjust. For those who don't remember, there was a guy foiling at a kind of famous San Francisco novelty wave, foiling through the lineup. Uh, lost his board, his foil, you know, machete that got bashed on the rocks by locals. Uh, so then he went back out a couple weeks later, whatever it was, and had a re redemption session where he went and he did it again, right? And so Derek and I had him on the podcast, Dirty Water. Uh, he didn't know which podcast he was coming on or he went to agree, I don't think. But his, his uh, justification for what he did was wild. He felt totally justified for foiling there in the first place, totally justified going back, which I'd imagine like his mindset, it's almost worth dredging that back up and reposting it in terms of this is the mindset of the modern kook is ignorance, arrogance, and like self-justification for anything. I think you're right that that surfer may not even understand that he was in the wrong. Because if you are a Val and you don't understand the etiquette, all that nuance is lost on you. And so he could justify in his own mind, I've seen four surfers on every wave out here at Waimea. So why would I not be allowed to go on this wave? It doesn't matter that that guy was on the bowl and I wasn't, we're both entitled to this wave. He ran into me. I was exactly. going straight. That guy turned and came into me. So it's then, his fault. And then on top of that, uh, there was a kook who was paddling out who couldn't get out of the way and maybe right. run over his board. I mean, that in, in the Val Kook mindset, that guy could think I was dealt two injustices on that wave. I'm going to go back out to YMA and snag one off anyone I want. Anytime these conversations come up of hierarchy, localism, blah, blah, blah. Every, there's a lot, there's a shocking amount of the commenters on Instagram or social media that complain that it's an archaic system. And they say, 
you know, we've evolved past that, the ocean is for everybody. But what they don't understand is that the system's in place for a reason. And if the Val does have the mindset that we just described, then it's pure chaos in the lineup. So there, there are rules that need to be in place. Maybe the former rules aren't ideal, but until a Val shows up with a better set of rules that everybody can agree to, there has to be some order.